It was 25 years ago that soil cement was first used to line a water storage reservoir. Since that time, this material, a compacted mixture of Portland cement, natural soils and water, has been used successfully throughout the United States for lining reservoirs and protecting the slopes of dams. The largest soil cement lined reservoir built to date was completed in the fall of 1969 near Coachella, California. Located at the end of the Coachella branch of the All-American Canal, the reservoir has a surface area of 135 acres and a water capacity of 1,500 acre feet. Mountains bound the area on the west and south. The reservoir, now officially known as Lake Coila, was built by the Coachella Valley County Water District. Its primary purpose is the storage and conservation of irrigation water from the Colorado River for use by the farmers and other customers served by the water district. A secondary use is that of a recreational center, now being developed by the Parks Department of Riverside County. The bottom of the lake and the beach area are paved with six inches of soil cement. Side slopes, which are three horizontal to one vertical, also are of soil cement, two feet thick, normal to the slope. The use of a soil cement lining prevents water loss from percolation. Paving of the side slopes with soil cement provides protection from erosion due to wave action in addition to preventing percolation through the banks. Construction began with the excavation of desert sand, which was piled in embankments to form the north and east sides of the reservoir. Maximum height of the embankment is 17 feet. Maximum elevation of the water surface is five feet below the top of the embankment. The soil cement was mixed in a nearby central mixing plant, hauled to the site in dump trucks and placed with a spreader. Cement content was 10% by weight. The central mixing plant was set up next to an aggregate pit only a short distance from the reservoir site. This source supplied a pit run material which was screened to provide a one and a half inch maximum size aggregate with 14% fines. The central mixing plant was compact and efficient. Bulldozers pushed material into the hopper of a 48-inch belt loader, feeding a shaker screen, which raked off the oversized aggregate. The acceptable material fell onto two short delivery belts, which fed directly onto another belt, leading to a continuous mixer. Cement was added to the aggregate on the belt by a calibrated feeder. Water was added at the mixer. After a 30-second mixing time, the soil cement was discharged into trucks, which carried it to the reservoir. Production was 500 tons per hour. Both on the floor of the reservoir and on the side slopes, the trucks dumped their loads into a spreader box pushed by a tractor.
the tractor also pushed the truck forward as it was unloading. Specifications required six passes with a vibrating compactor, followed by four passes with a rubber-tired roller. Final compacted density was 140 pounds per cubic foot, which was 98% of maximum density. The finished soil cement lining was six inches thick. The mixture was cured with two coats of RC1 liquid asphalt, averaging about two tenths gallon per square yard. Laboratory tests showed the soil cement strength averaged 700 pounds per square inch in three days, 1300 PSI in seven days, and 2200 PSI in 28 days. The subgrade and untreated side slopes were sprayed with water prior to the placement of the soil cement. Soil cement for the side slopes was placed in six inch thick horizontal lifts or layers, creating a minimum thickness normal to the slope of two feet. The layers were placed 10 feet wide in order to accommodate the equipment. Special ramps at regular intervals enabled the equipment to move up and down the slopes. Spreading, compaction and curing procedures were the same for the slopes as for the bottom paving. The Lake Coila project required 135,000 cubic yards of soil cement. Bid price of the soil cement in place, including curing, was $6.32 per cubic yard. Based on this figure, the six inch lining cost $1.05 per square yard and the stair-step slope protection cost $4.20 per square yard. The U.S. Bureau of Reclamation designed the one and one-half million dollar project for the Coachella Valley County Water District. Tomei Construction Company of Manhattan Beach, California was the contractor. With the completion of Lake Coila, the water district now has a terminal storage reservoir for water coming 150 miles from its source at the Imperial Dam on the Colorado River. To the water district and the people it serves, this now means that excess water can be stored until needed and water for irrigation and other uses does not have to be ordered days in advance. Now the largest body of fresh water in the Coachella Valley, the lake is being developed into an excellent recreational facility for boating, fishing, swimming, and camping. Soil cement played a vital role in the creation of this new facility 
Coachella Valley.